In D2L, you can copy some or all of the content of one course section into another course section. This means it's possible to reuse your course content or share it for use by another faculty member. In this video, I show how you can copy your course materials from one D2L course shell to another. ITS and Kali refer to course sections in D2L as shells. A shell is the space on the web for a specific section being taught in a particular semester. I'm currently on the course home screen for Section C of CAN 101, a demonstrator shell that could be home to a course section taught in an upcoming semester. This shell is empty, but I want to bring in my course content from a previous semester's course taught in Fall 2017. This process copies all content generated or uploaded by the instructor, including files, Dropboxes, content structure, quizzes, gradebooks, discussion instructions, and so on. But it does not copy student data, including Dropbox or quiz submissions, discussion posts, or grade data. As an instructor, you do not need to create course shells for your upcoming courses. ITS creates these at least several weeks in advance of an upcoming semester. If by a month before a new semester you do not see a course section in D2L you're scheduled to teach, call the help desk to inquire about its status. To copy course materials from one section shell into another shell, perhaps for a class I plan on teaching in an upcoming semester, I start in the empty section shell for the upcoming class. From there, I essentially call back to the old shell and have its course components brought into the new shell. Before I do this, I usually check two things very quickly. First, I glance up at the header just to make sure I'm in the correct shell. Then. I view a few of the major areas in the shell just to make sure they're empty. Once in a while, professors might copy course materials into their fall course shells in May and then forget they did so and copy it all again in August. I want to avoid a mistaken or duplicate course copy since there's no quick way to delete course materials in bulk from a D2L course shell. Okay, the shell is empty, so I click the Edit Course link on the navbar. The edit course page displays every tool, feature, or option I have available to me in a D2L class, including import, export, copy components. I click on that to begin the process of bringing in old course materials. I make sure the radio button next to copy components from another org unit is active. I'll also leave include protected resources checked as well. To tell D2L which course I'd like to copy from, I click Search for Offering. Here, D2L brings up a blank screen. If I have a lot of courses, I could enter a term in the search bar to bring up a specific course I'm looking for. Or if I want a complete list of courses available to me as an instructor, I just click the magnifier icon with an empty search bar and all courses appear below. Once I find the appropriate section shell, I click the radio button next to it to select it. Then I click Add Selected. Now, I choose one of the buttons at the bottom of the screen. If I click Copy All Components, D2L will simply copy all content from the old shell into this one. That will complete the process. In this case, I'll choose instead Select Components. This allows me to copy some things from an old course section, but not everything. D2L presents me with the types of things I can copy from the old course shell. Next to the names of these types of content are listed how many items are available of that type. I can check the boxes next to these categories to copy those types of things to the new section shell. For each category, if I leave active copy all items, it will copy everything in that category. If I choose for any category, select individual items to copy, D2L will give me follow on screens that allow me to choose which items I want from each category. When copying certain kinds of things, such as the structure of your content area, discussions, or drop boxes, you probably want to leave 
include associated files checked. Associated files are those that you, in one way or another, added to the course. They might be .docx or .pdf files visible as topics in the content area. Or perhaps they are images that are installed in quizzes or Dropbox instructions. They could be files attached in the instructions of discussion topics. The associated files are stored behind the scenes in D2L's Manage Files area within each course shell. With the Include Associated Files checked, these files will come along to the new section shell as well. If I'd like all the files I've uploaded to the course previously to be available in the new shell so that I have them in the course even if I later decide I don't wish to use them, I'll check Course Files. That way, the contents of the Manage Files area is copied over completely. I often find this is the safest approach even if I'm only copying a few other things as well. When I click Continue, if I've chosen Select Individual Items to Copy for any category, D2L presents me with some follow-on screens where I specify exactly which items or files I'd like to have copied. After I've completed these screens, D2L gives me a confirmation screen describing what will be copied. When I click Finish, D2L will perform the course copy. This could take a few seconds, or maybe even 20 minutes, depending on how much course content is copied. Once the copy is complete, I'll receive a message saying so. As you can see here, D2L keeps a record of all content copies that have been performed in this shell. I can also see that in the Import Export Copy tool by clicking View History.